Reggie Jackson was Mr. October. Then Aaron Harrison of Kentucky is Mr. Uh, latter half of March, beginning of April. Three game winners, and then with such focus, such presence of mind, while Wisconsin was trying for the last second desperation shot, Harrison actually declared himself eligible for the NBA draft because he has to have the edge. Has to be not even one and done. Okay, I kid. But I'm not as big a joke as this NC Capital of A's is. And eight seed, the team that could win the national title tonight, has a program that doesn't even pretend to have anything to do with academics. In other words, these guys are, dare I say it, employees of the University of Kentucky. Hey, just wondering if Sir Chaz Barkley has opined on this. Sure didn't hear Jim Nancy Pan say anything about players unionizing, which would be kind of like Nets not mentioning this week that Tiger isn't at Augusta. Swallow. Speaking of golf, did you see Wayne Gretzky's daughter on the cover of Golf Digest? Yeah, you're saying she has as much to do with golf as Kentucky basketball has to do with the pursuit of the knowledge of whatsoever things be true. But who cares? Let's just say that Polita... Polina? Yeah, I like the Chicago Street Connection pronunciation. Polina, Polina, potato, patatas, and bodacious ones she's displaying. She's displaying the great ones on the Golf Digest cover. Hubbala, hubbala, vovovovovski, and Golf Digest has gotten a backlash from female golfers belonging to the LPGBTA. Is that what it's called? Speaking of being improperly dressed, how about Junior Lake appearing in the wrong uniform for the Cubs? But then I saw him do it again at home this week, and he was wearing number 21. That's Sammy's jersey, which was retired and is hanging from the pole on top of the center field scoreboard, just above the American flag, isn't it? That is a little bit of 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 a